Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all enjoying hair week so far. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to achieve these bouncy salon curls at home. This is perfect for if you have a photo shoot coming up or an event or you're taking headshots or anything where you'll need a long lasting curl. I've got all the tips and tricks for you today. This video is sponsored by ID and Hair. I define natural, so huge shout out to them for sending this gorgeous hair over. I'm gonna show you the tighter curl versus the looser curl. And as always, I'll have everything linked in the description box below so if you want to know how to achieve this look at home keep on watching all right so let's dive in this is like day three or four hair when you're curling your hair and you do it on freshly washed hair it's just not gonna hold as well so give it like day two three four and you're gonna have a good hold um, for my clip-ins I did get four two clip wefts to three clip wefts, to four clip wefts, and then to five clip wefts, which are the longest weft. Um, you don't get any of those little mini one inch wefts that you're always like, what do I do with this? <laughs> They're all pretty wide, so I love that. I love the density of the hair. My hair, my natural hair is pretty thin, especially when it is flat ironed. Um, so having extensions that cover everything, it's like full coverage hair extensions, but they're also not super heavy. I really appreciate that. I also really like the ends of the hair because it lightens a bit and that just helps it look a lot more natural. Like it's growing right out of my scalp, girl, even though it's not. I'm gonna go into the very bottom section of my hair. I'm just sectioning this little section down here off. You could do more or less depending on your hair density. And I'm just gonna do a quick little braid and bobby pin it up. You guys have seen this trick in a previous tutorial i think it was like two years ago three years ago it's been a minute but i just like to braid this little bottom section just so that when you do start putting in your clip-ins you don't have to worry about your little hairs poking through underneath i hate that i really do it's just it grinds my gears so i'm like i'm just gonna braid it and put it up out the way i'm not doing anything special there's no super special technique you can see my parting is not even even like it does not matter just braid that little section up and bobby pin it up for time's sake i just did one braid but if you have more time to spend and you want it a little bit more flat than what i have just do two kind of french braids back there crisscross them and bobby pin them then you'll get a flatter look but you get the idea um so i'm starting with a three clip weft and i'm going underneath that braid to clip that in and then doing another weft on top of the little braid so you can see no little baby hairs well i say baby hairs none of your natural hair that's shorter than the extension is popping up underneath so for the rest of the install i'm just going around my hair and parting it with my fingers and then just clipping the extensions in like i typically would you can alternate from the two clip wefts um to three and four depending on what section of your head you're on i normally save the two clips for the top especially since i am doing a side part i have less hair on one side so that's where i'm going to need those shorter wefts but it just kind of depends on your head and your parting and how you want the hair to lay um, these extensions also kind of have that taped weft effect it's kind of like the invisible weft extensions i'm normally not a huge fan of these i'm more so a fan of like the lace wefts just because i feel like the lace wefts are a lot more comfortable on my head um, sometimes these can be a little bulky and they're harder to kind of bend around your head so sometimes you'll feel like hard pieces that are a little bumpy i'm not sure if you can like flat iron the top of the weft maybe you can to make it a little more seamless um, but these like invisible weft seamless things they're normally not my favorite now i will say thankfully with idn clip and extensions that top of the weft the band is pretty thin so i can kind of look past it but i have had extensions where that band is a lot thicker and i just i'm not a fan i'm really not a fan i'm just more of a lace weft kind of girl but we're making it work. All right, so once you've got all of your clip-ins in, make sure you brush everything through and we are ready to get into the styling. It's time to curl, girl. And today I'm using a new curling iron. Iron, not wand, an iron that I'm very excited to show you guys. I definitely used to be more of a curling wand kind of girl because I just felt like it was so much easier to do. But then I got this one and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'm a curling iron kind of girl. This is a curling iron from Hair So Chic and I am obsessed. Like I'm very obsessed. Like I have not used a product that I'm more obsessed with in a very long time. Um, you guys know I am a fan of the Foxy Bay curling wands, but this gives a different kind of curl. This gives like a professional, 
you went to the salon kind of curl and I just I really love it I have tried other curling irons before and I was just kind of turned off by them I was not a fan I do have a lot of the t3 seamless or what is it t3 single pass seamless whatever um, curling irons and as much as I love the aesthetic of those curling irons I've burned myself multiple times with those and I feel like the hair just glides a little too silky for me it's like it goes a little too fast <laughs> and I just always end up burning myself so I like this one because it has more of a texture on the barrel so it really holds on to the hair you don't have to worry about it falling too fast or it's slipping through your hair um, and you can have more control I think that's that's the thing you have more control with this curling iron and I really appreciate that no shade to t3 I do love them and like I said the aesthetic of them are beautiful the barrels are beautiful but I've just been in danger with those every time I've used them beautiful curls but I'm in danger and I do not want to be in danger so that's why I really love this one I will have it linked below again this is from hair so chic now it did take me a minute to learn how to get the curl down for using a curling iron instead of a wand um but yeah this is my this is like my go-to hair tool if i'm choosing hot tools this one's number one i'm sorry i didn't want to bore y'all with all the curling because it did take me a minute we worked from the bottom up and i'm just holding this for about seven seconds like i said and we're gonna let all the curls cool first before going in with product and final touches so I know this looks crazy, but trust me, just leave them for right now. On the topic of Hair So Chic, I'm using the So Sleek Edge Control. You guys saw this in a previous video this week. Obsessed with this stuff. It's clear, so we love that. Um, it doesn't make your hair crunchy, and it smells like a margarita. So what more could you ask for? <laughs> I'm using this for a few of my flyaways. I'm also using this to do one little baby hair swoop in the front. This stuff right here, amazing. I hope it's not sold out. I will have it linked below, but if you're looking for any new edge control, Definitely recommend this one. And now it's time for my other favorite products from r and Co. First, we're going in with the two-way mirror smoothing oil. You guys saw this previously this week. I, you already know. You already know, do like four pumps of this in your hands, run it together and then run it through your curls. Look at this salon quality this is where i learned it at a salon <laughs> um but oh my goodness this product smells amazing it makes your hair feel amazing it just kind of gathers everything okay if you had any extra fluff or flyaways or whatever this just gathers it all together and makes it melt so seamlessly do you see these curls i know you see it girl to finish things off i am just going in with the r and co balloon spray this is also linked below um this is a dry volume spray to kind of add that extra oomph to your hair i just like using it towards the bottom sections of my hair which i also learned from samantha at salon three so these two products i'm telling you girl this and the and the edge control like these are my products these are my go-to's and every time i do my hair i have to use these three or else i feel like i'm like incomplete you know so if you want to keep more of a tighter curl just run your fingers through it or use a very wide tooth comb and you will get this look it lasts forever you don't have to worry about anything falling like this is what you're going to get all day and it's going to stay like that if you want a looser curl go in with a paddle brush and just brush through the curls and then you'll get more of that like old hollywood glam look so some people are more into that but i kind of like the tight to curl i kind of like it like this so just with my fingers or a wide tooth comb so that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and learned some tips along the way be sure to check out id and hair if you are looking for some new clip-ins i've got them linked below along with r and co and hair so chic so be sure to check them out if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications and i will see you in my next video bye y'all